Hey everyone, welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. In today's episode, we're going to be studying a piece by the career 3D artist known as Ryan Hawthorne. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the format of the portrait. We're also going to explore the rebirth of works of art using artificial intelligence. So let's just jump right into it. So at first sight, we see this lone subject sitting on a ledge of some kind or another. It is no doubt a mystical, mysterious, and you know, absolutely stunning introduction to this masterpiece. You know, one of the first things I noticed next to the impact of color is a placement in space, right? You have all these intersecting, you know, lines and gradients, of course, with the placement of our subject in center. That draws her eye within the work. And of course, this red on white, dark on light contrast is absolutely stunning here. Of course, with that in mind, red is such a visceral color, right? So anything that has the color red is going to draw your eye like the sight of first blood. That is evolutionary. It is primal, no doubt. And that white background allows that to intensify itself to the absolute most intense degree it kind of just bleeds out and floods through this composition so you're just not going to miss it here another thing i noticed is the impact of texture right it's almost reminiscent of watercolor in a way you look at this and each tone bleeds from one to the next it is this virtual texture but it's also showing the hint of cloth as well all of which immerse us so well within this composition you may also notice a sense of motion within this work right the legs kind of drape off there so there's a sense of the curvature or the natural within this composition. Of course, that's incredibly important, and the pose really reinforces that feeling as well. I wanted to ask you guys, you know, how do y'all feel when you first view this composition or what comes to mind when you're viewing this work? But to truly understand this work, we have to look at Ryan Hawthorne's Simpler Time series. This was created in the medium of the digital render using Cinema 4D. What he does is he takes different classical statues or different classic poses and revives them in the contemporary context. There is this, you know, low poly rendering to that. There is this very futuristic element that's added as well. So that's why I say contemporary. It is revived for a new age. And this is the work that then served as the inspiration and input to create the work before us today. He actually took this work, put it through mid-journey, and this is the interpretation that we see here. There is not much in common between these works, but I did want to say, you know, the Sovereign, the work on the right, is quite reminiscent of the Boxer. That is a Greek statue. I'm going to hop over here real quick. So, Boxer at Rest, or the Boxer, was a Greek bronze, I believe Hellenistic Greece, and it is quite reminiscent. I believe it is a gladiator, you know, he is getting ready for a battle, or, you know, he is getting ready of some type of sport of some kind or another. That's what I found most reminiscent of this statue here. Of course, it's not the exact same in this work you see in Sovereign. The arm is back, but in Boxer, they are both ahead of him. But when I look at that statue, of course, simpler times taking those classic statues, reviving them in a low poly rendering, that's just what came to mind there. So I wanted to briefly mention that, and of course, I think that's pretty relevant. But regardless, like I said, Simpler Times is the series which then served as the input and inspiration for the work before us. He took this, put this into mid-journey, and we see the interpretation and result of that. We absolutely love to see it here. So this is pretty interesting, right? You take an original work, such as a digital render, digital illustration, anything like that. You put it through an artificial intelligence program, whether that be mid-journey or anything else. And you see the results of this kind of interpretation and evolution, if you will. Of course, we're only now getting the true implications of this multimedia perspective, this potential to take different works of art and to use artificial intelligence to really assist in that process as well. But regardless, we see a very futuristic, we see this modern work. I think there's no doubt about that. I absolutely love it. Of course, there's this stunning energy that's provided by all these various you know, geometric graphics and almost like a paper origami, if you will. Of course, I also talked about the watercolor within this composition. All are pretty relevant, but like I said, you see the evolution and the interpretation that results from, you know, bringing different works of art and putting them into an AI art program. But regardless, I wanted to ask you guys, you know, what comes to mind when you view this work or what do you think we might be looking at? Like I said, the original work was The Sovereign. It was in a digital render using Cinema 4D that was then taken and put into the AI art program known as Midjourney. So we see the stunning result of that. And, you know, I really hope y'all enjoy it today. We talked about so many different things from this, this, you know, from the posture of our lone subject. We talked about the visceral color red. We talked about the sense of texture and motion. We talked about the intense, you know, watercolor aspect to this work as well. We talked about the interpretation of AI using 
using different art forms to create a multimedia experience. So many different things we hit on today. I really hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all enjoyed today's episode, make sure to check out the original artist Ryan Hawthorne doing some amazing stuff in the medium of the digital render, as well as motion media and now AI art as well. So AI generative art, so much potential coming from that scene and I absolutely love to study those works. But regardless, like I said, I really hope y'all enjoyed it today. If y'all did, go check out the original artist Ryan Hawthorne, like I said, doing some amazing stuff. My name's Apollo, this was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see y'all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.